hello it's Lynn again in this video I just want to um, give a few message to newly qualified pharmacist um, I just want to share my experience being a pharmacist and working in different sector I was hospital pharmacist I was relief pharmacist I was pharmacist manager I was fortunate enough to have all that experience and I want to share all the experience that I have a little message for you congratulations you are a pharmacist now I think that was a dream you know five years it's been a long time at working in university studying hard at university doing your pre-reg revising for the pre-reg exam working full time in a workplace with like it's it's everything changed you are an adult now welcome to click club my pharmacy fellow so for my experience i was firing pharmacist sharing my experience sharing my knowledge learning how to optimize patients care and it was it was fun and I think it's more challenging than ever before you are still working we are still going through a pandemic there's still all that fear and all that unknown you know there was a shutdown now more than ever that the the, the war of the, the health worker is a we are a key worker we are fortunate enough to be able to contribute our knowledge our energy to fulfill in this ever demanding role going to awards and we are a little warrior that every single day you contributing yourself to help somebody else getting better and there's what is more fulfilling than being a pharmacist i was really down for a few months i, I got to the point where i didn't want to be a pharmacist anymore i just want to quit and i just want to go home but you know that was just silly at me i was just surrounded with people not like kind of like, like like you when you at university you have to remind yourself what is your identity you are a pharmacist it's a completely different environment compared to where you was at university you were surrounded by your your fellow pharmacy students you were surrounded by aspiring tutor or like experienced tutor who like just want to give you want to do your best you constantly comparing yourself and you want to be better every single day and now going back to the workplace and you know as a pharmacist and working with and you've got to realize everyone is playing different games to you just keep learning for me it was just i stopped learning i was just kind of like got, got a bit complacent with where i was i was too comfortable I, I got used to a fat wage that i have at the end of the month and i think i would just stop moving i stopped learning and i wasn't myself i think a lesson is to stay true to yourself and reminding yourself how lucky you are i just have to remind myself how fortunate i am to have this opportunity and this was like the position i have that right now was once my dream and now this dream happened as it's, it's, it's the dream has become reality and the reality might not be what you would expected five years ago but you are still at your best version of yourself and as long as you're constantly striving and keep improving yourself this the world is your oyster and you just keep becoming better and i think it just you know being a pharmacist you might feel burned out and it is not to be it's okay not to be okay sometimes it's okay to feel like actually am i making the right decision uh, can i do that shift anymore i feel it's okay to feel that way you know you're not going to feel perfect all the time and i think it was lucky for me you know for Tristan to, to he's reminded me that you are you know you know you are my hero it's like making reminding myself that actually i'm not doing it because i have to. i'm doing it because i can i'm doing it because i wanted to be a pharmacist and I'm, I'm enjoying my job and i'm enjoying helping somebody getting better it's like a, a superman saying say, with great power come with great responsibility and i was fortunate enough to have this position i was fortunate enough to have this knowledge and this is my time to contribute this is my time to to make the world a better place with my little bit of contribution it's still better than nothing it might be a little drop in the water in the ocean but it's still better than nothing it's what i'm enjoying so why not do more of it farthest to be i know you are eager to learn i know you want to give your best and you know just work 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 all the time but actually take time to look after your health your health is important as well you've got to be healthy so that you can help other people take care of yourself first take care of your body your body is your temple feed yourself nice food don't just like i know it's easier said than done when you just so tired you don't even want don't you don't even want to cook it's like oh my god i have to cook and um but no to cook for yourself eat nice nice food have enough sleep taking your vitamin and if you feel burned out take a step back and rest because if you get in poorly it's like it's a cycle of loom so get enough sleep get enough rest and eat well again as well looking at making reflection as your daily routine that's what um, we
we learned at university you reflect on your daily at your cpd you reflect on your experience of learning a different topic but actually you should make reflection as part of your daily routine because it's it's helping you looking at re recap from your experience revise over and um learning from them and again keep learning the other things for me was i was just tired of work i forget contact with my friends from university I don't really schedule time to see them as much catching up with them reflecting on it i should really schedule the time because we all ha will have different shift pattern and it's sometimes it's really hard to keep in touch with your friends at university and you kind of like you or everything that you it's just all, all about work all the time you don't have any hobbies because you just i was just exhausted afterwards to so make sure whatever you do it doesn't matter what you do ensure that you have me time and you schedule that me time schedule that uh, catch up session with your friend stay tuned to you know what other things are happening allow yourself to have downtime too when you recap over your life constantly like kind of like a monthly reflection about your life you know are you well how are you feeling are you at your are you being yourself again and it's helping you and maybe meeting them at other uh, networking with people other other fellow pharmacy student and i know as what if you are working in hospital you might see other pharmacists on the ward senior pharmacists junior pharmacists you might have that connection with them but if you're working in a community pharmacy or you work in a gp practice where you are the only pharmacist might sometimes it might be hard to share your experience with somebody that's not on the same so yeah keep in touch with your friends and um meet up with them schedule the time make it into a must um and don't be like me stay social and that's how you learn you learn from people as well because you know you'd be surprised somebody else out there i am feeling the same thing and i feel you know you when you just so focus on yourself you just forgetting about other things and you forget to look at the bigger picture that was my mistake and i hope you can learn um, and th that was the reason why i felt burned out and i hope you can learn from my mistake and you know stay positive and stay tuned and stay fabulous pharmacist no not which is what i'm striving to be now to get myself back up and running and be a happy pharmacist again so that's just a little message and i wish you all the best of luck you know keep being yourself keep contributing to the world stay fabulous pharmacist and take care and i catch up with you soon Bye bye